collection and today we're going to be taking a look at magazines 56 and 57 um, who are two gunslingers we've got cable here and we've got John Grey Crow and here, here are our pieces in the box Uh, one is a white pawn and one is a black pawn. So the white pawn here being Cable, the black pawn being John Grey Crow. So um, we're going to start with Cable um, and take a look at the piece and the magazine itself. Okay guys, so here is Cable out of the box. And as you can see he's in a really cool kind of on the boss sort of pose there with a massive, massive... Uh, gun there coming out of the arm. Let's take a look at that gun first. So it's painted in a silver kind of matte grey silver colour. Really well sculpted. It really does look like a, an awesome weapon there. Kind of a stubby weapon. It's got a massive magazine there at the bottom but I'm in no doubt that that could do some serious damage face looks awesome, it's all scarred up uh, obviously we've got one eye which is normal there which is blue and then we've got a kind of his second eye there which is in a white colour and then he, as you can see it kind of got a scarred effect uh, grey hair but the face it looks awesome look at that kind of snarl on his face there he looks proper, proper annoyed with someone really stern then his outfit is really well painted because we've got uh, a multitude of colours. Uh, we've got this uh, silver neck piece which comes around here. Kind of armouring which is cool. And then we've got gold shoulder pads and gold gloves. We've got uh, a metal arm. Kind of colossus style here. On his left arm. And then we've got kind of the, uh, the X-Men emblem there. on this chest piece which comes around wraps around the back here in an X shape and then we've got gold pouches here on his golden belt again with the emblem there then we've got blue trousers he's actually got a black glove on his right arm with flesh tone uh, it's got more pouches there on the leg and then these golden boots again with more pouches uh, and brown straps. Then he's got the white pawn base. But I think this guy looks really cool. Lots of colour. Good kind of pose here for cable. All in all, a really good piece, I think. Stands really well. Awesome. Take a look at the magazine. It's magazine 56. Cable is the mutant offspring of Scott Summers and Madeline Pryor, the clone of Jean Grey. Raised in the distant future, Cable is a powerful warrior with a no-nonsense attitude. He is one of the collection's white pawns, as, just like the chess piece, he is often on the front line of any conflict. The sculpt reflects his power and commanding nature. So we've got lots of pictures of Cable here. Talking about him being a mutant and whatnot. Talking about how he goes back and forth to the future. Cable's wife there being killed in front of his daughter. Cable taking on Red Hulk. It's going to be cool to get a Red Hulk piece. Well, that's going to happen. There's Cable with what looks like his daughter there, protecting his daughter from the Cable sign there that looks like it's going to fall on her. Talks about him being a living weapon, always being armed and dangerous. There it is actually fighting Captain America there. Um, so lots of comic book tales of Cable and his interactions with the X-Men and X-Force. And then we've got a preview of John Grey Crane. 
and there we have a picture of cable here on the back so yeah really cool piece really happy with him I think Mark Eagle Moss has done really well with this guy he looks really cool okay let's move on to John Craco okay guys so here's John Craco and just like cable this guy looks awesome he has uh, two pistol style weapons here one sh shooting towards up in the air and one here in a kind of Rick Grimes style pose so let's just talk about his face here he has long dark hair and a dark moustache kind of Mexican style there, moustache, and then he's got um, kind of brown eyes and black eyebrows and his skin tone is made to look quite tanned as you can see. Lots of metallic armour, his whole armour in fact is metallic apart from his boots which are brown. So lots of intricate detail here on the armour Looks really, really cool actually. The back here. The detail on this guy. The sculpt is fantastic. And in fact, the paint is really good. There's no smudging. The face looks good. The tanned effect is pretty cool. And the metallic effect is awesome. Like I said, we've got brown boots on the black pawn base here. Felt padding on the bottom. The guns look okay, they're quite basic pistol style guns quite long barreled he does have brown gloves there as you can see but I think again Eagle Moss have done really well with these two gunslingers, they look really cool um, and both posed well, the guns look good and the armors look fantastic so well done Eagle Moss for these two take a look at the magazine I don't really know much about John Grey Crow to be honest with you, so let's have a read so John Grey Crow is one of the Marauders, a bloodthirsty mercen the bloodthirsty mercenaries brought together by Gambit and Mr. Sinister are responsible for the massacre of the Morlocks. Grey Crow is a ruthless, cold-blooded killer and has often been a pawn in the machinations of others, most often Mr. Sinister. His chest piece reflects his violent nature and his attitude. It certainly does. So it talks about him being a master marksman, obviously those two pistols are his primary weapon, but he does look like he carries larger weapons as well at times. It talks about John Craycrow here being executed by a firing squad. Uh, John Craycrow is actually a Native American, which you can kind of tell from his, um, from his long black hair and his dark tan skin. And in the middle we've got a poster of him of Mr. Sinister. There he is looking very warrior-esque and covered in armour, guns and ammo. There he looks like he's kind of shooting Wolverine. Talks about him. Making an appearance in the Marvel story. And how it caused trouble for the X-Men here. And yeah, so that's John Greycrow. And that was Magazine 57. Uh, next here, it showcases Psylocke. He looks like being quite a cool piece. That's magazine 58. And then on the back here, got a really cool piece, really cool picture of John Grey Crow fighting amongst the X-Men. So there we go, that's John Grey Crow. So that's magazines 56 and 57. Two 
Arsenal field magazines and pieces who both look absolutely fantastic with really good paint jobs and sculpts. So yeah, I do regular updates on the Marvel Chess Collection. So if you want to see more of this collection, just subscribe to my channel. And we're getting towards the end now of the uh, X-Men Collection. And we will be moving into the Spider-Man Collection soon. Um, I will be looking to do a full set review in the imminent future for the X-Men set. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.